Honestly, I look like Summer Walker. Caught me as a long time, baby. I was at the Welcome back to my channel. So I'm doing a celebrity recreation. You guys know I love doing recreation videos. They're so fun for me. They push me as an artist. They push me as a creative. I just love doing them, okay? A lot of people think it's copycat-ish and uncreative, but really, it's not. So, elephant in the room. You guys see, I went all out this time. I had more tattoos, but I'm going to tell you guys about that at the end. So if you guys want to see how to get this look, make sure you guys thumbs up this video for me and subscribe to my channel and keep watching. All right, guys. So I'm super excited and nervous about today's video. It is a celebrity recreation, as you guys seen by the title, and I'm recreating Summer Walker's look. I'm going to put the picture somewhere on the screen, do a little something and show you guys the look. You guys saw it in the thumbnail. So I'm going to be recreating this. I actually have to find the picture again because I had it saved on Instagram, but she deleted the picture. So yeah, we're going all in today. So wish me luck. So first I need to start by doing my brows. And actually this day Nikita Dragon did her makeup. So everybody was saying like Nikita Dragon, Nikita, oh my God, Nikita Dragon turned Summer into her. I don't know, I don't follow Nikita. I'm not I'm not a fan and I'm not a hater. I just am like, she's just there. She doesn't like appeal to me, but I don't understand all the hate either. Fill me in, don't fill me in, I don't really care. <laughs> so I'm gonna recreate. Um, but yeah, I've been procrastinating because I've been so nervous. So I'm about to start. I'm gonna try to pop up the, what do you call it? The picture on the screen throughout the video so that you guys can see what I'm talking about. But I'm gonna start off with my brows. And if you guys have been watching my last few videos, you guys know that I've been into a very feathery brow, but Miss Summer does not have a feathery brow, honey. She just has a good old, oh, I don't wanna say Instagram brow, but Instagram brow. So that's what I'm gonna do today. So first I'm gonna go into my Fenty Beauty in black brown just to like sculpt out the brows and really shape it. And you can use one brow pencil, but you know, I'm being me. So I'm gonna just try to do that. And hers is kind of like, it's not, wasn't straight. Okay, it was kind of straight. So I'm gonna try to like extend it out that way. I'm gonna have to manipulate my brows a little cause hers kind of went out. Now I'm using my Maybelline. Um, pencil it's like a warmer brown so I'm gonna just fill that in because her brow was like very filled in it wasn't you know my typical brow I'm gonna go ahead and carve out my brows and I'm gonna be using Born This Way Too Faced Born This Way concealer in chestnut and butterscotch that's just always a mouthful for me and I'm gonna mix the two because they make like the perfect shade for me. So now, just gonna carve it out. And instead of following my shape, I'm gonna just go straight. Hmm, I actually really like that. Once upon a time, I really wanted to cut off my brow, the tail of my brow, to have a straight brow. I did. I really zen. I really like this brow. Her brow wasn't a super straight brow. It just does. It just wasn't shaped like mine. Like hers just kind of was like this, and then had a little arch, and it was like shorter. You know what I mean? And when you do your brow like this, it kind of gives you like more eye space. So yeah. All right. So those are my brows. I like low-key kind of miss doing my brows like sculpted, but like I really like the feathery look. But that's the fun of makeup because you can switch it up. You can do what you want when you want it. So next we're going to get into this eye look. So originally I saw the eye look when she posted it. I also went to Nikita's page and I had seen them together and she showed it. Maybe she's going to show it again. I think she deleted it. Ha! She didn't delete it. So basically, I think the whole point was like Nikita was just showing her line of stuff, 
like her, whatever she uses. So it looks like she has a brown smoky eye. Yep. She has a brown smoky eye with like an inner corner tear duct, but I think she just used her contour palette. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna use my contour palette, but I'm gonna use some browns. So because this also is like a fox eye, inner eye, I need to prime my eyelids. And let me tell y'all what I mean. So I'm gonna take my concealer. I don't need anything super pigmented, so just chestnut works just fine. And I'm using a lot and I'm bringing it in. And I'm bringing it in because I'm doing the inner liner and I don't wanna have this area bare when it's time to put on the rest of my face. Does that make sense? So like, if I was to just draw the liner on my bare skin and then go back over it, it's gonna mess it up. So just so that I can avoid this whole area when I'm done, I'm just gonna apply Product. You can do foundation and add it right here. But you see how this is really close to my skin tone? Like basically it matches. Like I be telling y'all all the time, I'm gonna be good. So I'm just gonna put that all over this area. And now I'm gonna go ahead and set it. I'm using my Fit Me powder. You can use any setting powder and just set it because you don't want it to move. So yeah, so you see it's nice and bare. It's not overdone. Again, she didn't do a super bright look, so there was no need to do super stark white um, eyeshadow base and stuff like that. And all of this is set. So when I start doing my makeup, I won't have to touch right there. You guys will see what I'm talking about later if you're confused. So I decided to just use this palette. This is the Dose of Colors um, Katie, Desi and Katie Frankation palette. And I'm gonna go in with the shade Churro because it's like a perfect brown for me and it's not too warm. Everything just looked like very muted. Like I said, um, it looked like she was using her contour palette. So, you know, contour shades are very like cool tone, just very straight to the point. So that's what I'm doing. And I'm gonna kind of be like flicking it like, like that as I'm blending it so that my eyes stay lifted because her eyes were, the focus to me were the eyes. It was very like sultry. So I'm trying to keep it like straight. I'm not like following the shape of my eye because again, we're doing a recreation. We're manipulating shapes and shadows on our face. So you gotta do things a little different. Now that I've blended it out how I want, I'm just gonna take that same brush and just pack that all over the lid and just buff it into the crease. I'm gonna take a smaller brush and I'm gonna take the shade Cheens, is it? Yep, know them by heart almost. And I'm just gonna deepen the crease just a little bit more. It's a deeper brown. I'm just deepen it. I'm gonna take the dark brown from this palette and kind of like, map out and give me like a guide before I just go on with liquid liner. So I'm just gonna take it and kind of like see what the heck I'm doing. You see that? Cause I really don't think I have the eye shape for this kind of look, but here we gonna do what it do. So now I'm gonna take my liquid liner and actually I'm gonna start off by doing my liner regular first.
That's gonna kind of be like the start of my wing. I might extend it out later, I might make it thicker, but I just kind of wanted a guide to see what to do next because I'm gonna have to do this inner liner and I did have some fallout, so I'm just gonna wipe that away. But now I'm gonna take the liner and you guys, I've never done this before. Well, I have and I failed, but um, just watch, okay? I can't really explain. And if you mess up, it's okay because you can take concealer and sharpen it up, but just try to get like kind of a feel of what it is that you want to do. Guys, when I tell you I suck at this inner corner thing, but I just love the look of it so much, it's just really tragic. So now I'm just gonna attempt to clean it, or should I like set it first? So you need to let that dry before you start trying to move it and whatnot. Like this looks a mess, but I'm gonna get it together. I'm gonna get it together. So I'm gonna take this shade, Lil Smoky. This is just like a little kind of charcoal shade. And I'm just gonna kind of set that. And kind of drag it out. And our eyes look like shit. <laughs> so now I'm gonna take my concealer again. <sighs> so much work. And I'm just gonna clean it up. You wanna take a really small brush. I'm using this tiny angle brush. And I'm just gonna clean it my girls that know how to do the inner flicks you are the true queens you are the goats and I'm just gonna go ahead and try to clean that up not try like I have to clean this up because this looks crazy Okay, okay, see why you don't doubt yourself? That's why you don't doubt yourself, okay? So, so far, so good. But I need to add some, I need to add a tear duct somehow. I'm gonna take my Fenty Highlight in Mo Honey Afternoon Snack, just mix the both, and I'm just gonna kinda place it on top because she did have a tear duct. And because I already know how my eye shape, my eye thing is, my little, what do you call this? Cat eye, fox eye, whatever. I'm just gonna go over it. Okay, so you guys, that's as good as it's gonna get for now. If I feel, oh, it's just bothering me, it doesn't look good. So I'm gonna go ahead and moisturize. I'm gonna use my Tatcha Dewy Cream. I got the little one, cause y'all know it's expensive, okay? And we're on a budget. But I really do like this stuff a lot, so I'm just gonna lather that up. And then for primer, I'm gonna be using my Milk Hydro Grip. Because I feel like I wanna be piling on products because you guys, her face was very beat. <laughs> so I just wanna make sure my skin's nice and hydrated and that all the products are gliding on my face. Now I'm gonna be going in with my Pat McGrath foundation because I just feel like it gives me the finish that I need. I'm just gonna use that with my Juno and Co sponge.
And do you guys see what I'm talking about? Because I had added um, concealer right here, it's not gonna look like there's like missing product. It's already covered, so I don't have to mess that up. So for concealer, I'm going back in with my Born This Way just so that I can get that coverage. This is nothing out of the norm for me, but and I'm gonna try to sharpen this up too. But I know Sis had coverage because her face tattoo was like non-existent. So we're just doing what the girls did. Now I'm gonna use my Beauty Bakery Concealer in Creme Brulee. It's a nice little highlight shade. And I'm gonna focus this right in the center versus dragging it out. I'm just gonna leave this like right here. And while I let that sit, I'm gonna go in with my Huda Beauty Tan Tour in, this, in the shade Medium. And I'm just gonna add a little depth. I'm not gonna do too much. I actually prefer this product over like when I cream contour, cause it just, I have more control over it. I feel like even when I use concealer and try to cream contour with concealer, it just overpowers my face and ends up looking too muddy. So as you can see, I have so much more control over that product and I love the shade. The shade is perfection. Okay, so once it's blended out, you guys saw that I started using my brush to blend it because the sponge was gonna mess up the inner liner. So now I'm just gonna set it with the Laura Mercier powder. I used this the other day and I loved it again, so. So now I'm gonna do kind of like a mini bake because her face was snatched, so we gotta switch it up. And I'm gonna use my Makeup Forever powder in the shade YFO 505 to set all of Okay, so now I'm using the Makeup Revolution. I mean, why do I always do that? The Makeup Forever powder in Y405 just to brighten that under eye because she was like really snatched. And do you guys see why I highlighted my face so, I mean, hydrated my face so much? Cause like, all this powder, yikes. <laughs> First, I'm gonna be using Coco Naughty on my nose and I'm really gonna just bring it in more than I usually do. Like this is like the perfect shade for my nose it's literally a shadow but instead of following my natural line i'm gonna go in a little bit more because you know her nose was cinched Ooh, tasha this is so OD. and i'm just gonna brush that up actually baking made such a huge difference in how my under eye looks i'm just gonna take coconati and use on my face and i'm actually gonna mix it with mocha mommy just to have a little bit of warmth so i'm not gonna like layer i'm literally just gonna like mix them to like create this shade and she wasn't super contoured but her face was snatched that makes no sense but if you see the picture you know what i'm talking about 
And I'm gonna use a lot of blush because she had on a lot. I don't know, she had on a lot of blush, and I'm using Sweet Mulberry by Cover Effects. It looks more purpley pink, but when it's applied to my face, it looks like a true pink. So I'm just gonna really flush the cheeks like that because she had on a lot of blush. Ooh, so cute. Notice that just her nose was highlighted, so I'm gonna take my Fenty Beauty and just. Highlight with my finger, do a little exclamation point. My nose was like hella highlighted. So yeah, I'm gonna leave the face matte and let this bake for a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and put on my lashes. I'm gonna put on the Quickie Lashes by Glow Up, Glow Up Academy because, <gasps> where did it go? Oh, it's on my lap because it like, literally fans out i've worn these so many times but they fan out and if i feel like i need to layer them then i'm gonna put another lash on top but i think one may be enough so i'll be right back i only used the one pair of lashes and i think we're coming together <sighs> oh my gosh i'm so excited so i'm just gonna use my fenty gloss i don't think she had on anything um you know over the top this is my kkw lip liner in new 2.5 it's not as dark as three which i normally use it's just really gonna shape my lips and add a little depth to it i'm just gonna do like so then i'm just gonna take fussy by fenty and apply that because her lip was not anything crazy at all so Hold up, wait a minute. Y'all thought I was finished? Okay, I still have to fix my hair because this little like square hairline is not gonna cut it. I know she had a little swoop in the front, so I'm gonna try to do that, even though you guys know I don't like that. But before, before, I'm probably not gonna do that on camera because that's stupid. But guess what I'm gonna do? One second. So I feel like there's no Summer Walker recreation without some tattoos. So I got a few. I got like some roses. I know she had a cupcake on her chest, but I could not find a cupcake, so I'm just gonna put this on. She had a huge sleeve, I'm gonna do this. And I got all these from Etsy. She had like a little arm tattoo, and I have some words, cause she has like a word, I think it says like carpe diem. It does not say that, hers says something else. Um, but mine says carpe diem, I need to find that. And I'm actually gonna do that in my bathroom because this is gonna be all this water and stuff in my room. So I'm gonna have my sister help me cause they're really big. And then I'm gonna be back and show you. But I got them all from Etsy. If I could find the, what you call them? Links, I will link them below for anybody interested in press on tattoos for whatever reason, you know? Honestly, I look like Summer Walker. <laughs> okay guys, so this is a completed look. I had more tattoos. Let me tell you guys, first of all, I cannot find the ones that have the words on them so I can put it on my neck. And then my other chest tattoo literally was peeling off on the plastic. So that was a fail. And then this one, as you can see, ripped. But it's all an illusion, baby. I got the sleeve. She had this little like arm tattoo. I got all that, okay? So I tried. I should have bought double, but I didn't think I would need double tattoos because I'm never gonna put on fake tattoos again. But this is a whole vibe. I'm not gonna leave the tattoos below because honestly they were kind of trash. So just go on Etsy if you have a certain design, they work for something like this, but they like literally all of them kept sticking to the plastic. So when I was peeling the plastic off, the um, tattoo was coming off with it. So yeah, that's the only downfall. But that completes this look. I had a lot of fun doing this, you guys. Like. Actually, like, this is a vibe. This is a whole look. This is a look, okay? So if you want to see more celebrity recreations, make sure you guys comment them below and like this video, and I will see you in the next one.